Charlie. Give me a call. Yeah. Give me a call. Golf Romeo Bravo, holding 1-6, ready for departure. Good. Golf Romeo Bravo, ready media. Hey, Can't left base. Hey, firm. Romeo Bravo, runway 1-6, take off your discretion, 1105. Golf Romeo Bravo. Well done. Warm, innit? It is, yeah. Uh -huh. It's alright, it's not too bad actually. Once we get rolling down the runway, you'll feel the air come through. There is an air vent down here by your legs. Yeah, There's a, a metal slider, so if it doesn't come through, just find the metal slider. Here slide it is. Go, Charlie, yeah. the Feet off the floor, off the brakes. Feet off the brakes, don't pull back. Alright, feet off the brakes. Get them off. Hold it, hold it, you'll feel it. Now gently pull back. There you go, lower the nose. 80 knots, lower the nose a little bit. Lower the nose a little bit. Lower the nose. That's it, hold it there. The aircraft's hot and heavy. She does not want to fly. Lower the nose a little bit. So 500 feet, the flaps have done their work. Lean forward, press Jesus. the button at the end, or do you want me to do it? There you are. Go on, that's it. Hello, Buttons at the end. The Try to go with the flap lever, don't just lose it, go. Okay. Yeah. That's it, continue to climb. Out to 1,000 feet. Doing brilliant. I haven't touched, I haven't touched it, flying it. Don't turn yet, just keep climbing. Uh, heading one, I'm off my heading. So. Yeah, don't worry too much about that. You've come off your heading ever so slightly, but that doesn't matter. There was a big fire at um, over here yesterday. Yeah, I know. By the woods. <laughs> Were you there? No. I'll tell you about it later. Charlie, Arthur, continue rolling. We have to go over and report it. To the right. Continue to the end. So, approaching a thousand feet. Good luck out. Yeah. All the way around. Climb out towards um, Pensionet Trading State Forest, nice gentle climb. Well done. Are these blowing? Forgive me. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. A little bit further around, nice and gently. Hot, isn't it? Yeah. Now, it's got to November now, just approaching once the light change over to the course, so approach 128, then 555. Aircraft do not yeah, like hot weather. See that black field over there? Yeah. That was where the fire was. Oh, no way. We were sitting at the hold and um, air traffic said to us, we think there's a fire at... Um, at uh, the common just down the road. Can you have a look? So as we climbed up, I went negative, it's not the common. I said I know exactly where that is. I said, give me a second, we'll fly out to it. And I said, if you, I said, if you ring at the fire brigade, tell them Balmoral Road, Wordsley, Balmoral Estate. Should we do a left turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, they'll know exactly where it is because I'll be close enough to see the smoke. That's it. Now, if you fly, as if you're going to fly down reciprocal to the runway. Yep. Yeah. If you imagine, we want to cut across that way. There's the hill over there that you've got to go exactly, over. Yeah. So, thousand feet or above, the fuel pump can go off. So just switch the fuel pump off. That's it. Yeah, okay in the back. Yeah, fine, thank you. Good. A bit more room in here than the 152, eh? Yeah. What we got? We're coming up to 2,000 feet. We got still above 20 degrees. So I'll get to 2,000, levelling off, and then yeah, same departing to the west. Yeah, then when we'll we'll go through the overhead first. Yeah. Right. So lower the nose just a little bit. 
remember this climbs the faster speed, slightly lower rate. Lower the nose. Level off. Left turn. Try 2400, that doesn't sound right. Sounds too low power, too low power. More power. 2400, wings level. Lower the nose, trim the aircraft. Remember, attitude, power, trim. Yep. It still applies, even if it's a different aircraft. Over the airfield now. Ah, that's it. Look at him out, running out in November. Charlie, taxi to the whole point, runway 16 left hand. Fire now just throttle back a little bit, back to 23. Now we've set it down and we've accelerated the aircraft a bit. Call him Golf Romeo Bravo departing the overhead to the west. Golf Romeo Bravo, overhead. Departing to the west. Lovely. Go from here, brother, Roger. Right, I've got 253 on my book. Okay, so now turn on to heading 253. Got the time? Quarter past. That looks a bit much there. Yeah, it is, yeah. Right. Because you're not aiming to the target point, are you? No. The aircraft must pass over those hills. Right. So, what does that suggest to you? Uh, the wind has changed. Or? Or my uh, pan drunk. Or? Uh, the compass is out. Yep. So, start with the easy ones first, which is uh, get the aircraft straight and level, aiming towards the target. Get it nice, straight and level, aiming towards the target, then check it, do a free to check. So, free to check. Fuel. Check fuel. On, on, and sufficient, yep. Uh, radio, radio channel, channel. yeah, that's okay. Uh, and DI, uh, engine, engine, T's and P's, T's and P's in the green, yeah. Uh, DI, D DI, that's look at that, that's out, that's isn't out. It? So okay. that, that's showing. So before far. you touch it, make sure it's as level as you can get it. And straight as you can get it. Uh, yep. Now to. 727. Alright. Now fly 25. Now fly 25. Well, 255. That's what the gross error check is designed to do. Yeah. Just to make you stop and think about what's happening in front of the aeroplane. Yeah. So we can climb now, can't we? Absolutely. So, full power. Full power. So the aircraft doesn't like hot weather. Yeah. It prefer, much prefers freezing cold weather. Yeah. But it also doesn't like moisture. So it likes absolute freezing cold winter days where the sun is out and there's no cloud in the sky. That's what the aircraft wants. So the aircraft's actually underperforming at the moment because it's too hot. Yeah. So uh, when I looked on the map, I should have Chow Mart Reservoir on my left, which okay. I have. Good. Where yeah. is your map? Yeah. No good being tucked away there. There he is. Um, so what I would do, you want your plan, so you need that there, and do that. All right. Okay. Now, two ways you can deal with the map, north up or track up. That's north up, north at the top. That's how I've got mine. That's track up, direction of track. Personally, I'm a track, track man. Right, okay. Because then I'm seat, I can re straight relate what I'm seeing outside to the map because it's orientated to outside. Yeah, okay. Each to their own. 3,000 foot. Uh, two five. Yeah. It's plus 19 degrees here. 3,000 feet, it should be 9 degrees. Just, uh, it's very bumpy, isn't it? Is it bumpiness or is it flying? <laughs> <laughs> too are we? That's it. Bearing in mind, 
This aircraft's got a slightly different attitude of flying than the 152, yeah. And that's what you're now discovering. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, we'll fine-tune the throttle. We'll bring that back just a little bit. We'll lock the throttle in. Now look at your heading. Look what's happening. Yeah. I will say this time and time again to you, Julian, if you don't fly the head in, you ain't going to get where you want to go. No. Yep. So we should get right over that end of, on the right, which is where I'm going now. Where's your halfway point? Halfway point right over the hill. Oh, okay, no. So at halfway point, what time should we be there? Uh, when it was quarter two, we left off. Uh, it was 12 minutes, so 5-2, five 5-2. Two, yeah, five two. Yeah. Was it quarter two or quarter past? Quarter past, sorry. All right, come on, fly that head in. So what we got, off the wingtip over here, we got some Telford and the Reekin there. You see the Reekin Hill, yeah. Telford just behind us. Coming round on the nose, what we've got is we've got the Clee Hills. These are the two highest points of ground round by us. 1,700 feet high each. So, whenever we're flying in the vicinity of the airfield, they're, they're about 12 miles as the crow flies away from the airfield. Um, we've got to be careful of these heights. Down to the south, off the other wing, tip in the distance, just in the haze, you can see the Morven Hills. Yeah. Right, down at um, Morven Worcester. Over in this direction over here, we have got um, Ludlow, but you can't quite see it. Fly this head in, come on, we're never going to get where we want to go. Yeah. Fly the head in. Sorry. Go on, bravo, on, one, one, seven, four, five, 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 So, at the halfway point, right, yeah. you need to make a decision. You need to make a decision at the halfway point. Am I on track or off track? If you're on track, continue doing what you're doing. If you're off track, this is your point of making a correction. Okay, yeah. If you've got your fan lines, are those 10 degrees or 5 degrees? 10, de 10, 10 degrees, degrees I've okay. got. So you've got to figure out how much of that 10 degrees you're off. 5 degrees, 4 degrees, 2 degrees. Put your halfway point, multiply it by 2, and make a correction back to the target. Yeah? Yeah. At your halfway point. You can do a correction at your quarter or your three-quarter point, but the maths is a bit more difficult to deal with. But the halfway point is easy, it's just multiplied by two. Yeah. Also, check your time. If you've got a ten-minute leg, halfway along is five minutes. When you get to that actual halfway position, have you used your five minutes? Yeah. Or more, more time or less time? And that will give you a correction for your target, you see. What do you think? Yeah, um, yeah. Hi. This is Ditton Priors, a small village of Ditton Priors. Um, this is where the old Bridge of North Airport used to be. Yeah. Um, down below us. It's marked on our, our maps, but it's long gone. Right. So we're sort of here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see Craven Arms here. There's Craven Arms, so it's somewhere out there. So, what's happening with the aeroplane? So, we're, we're, going, we're lowering. We're going You're losing down. height? Yeah. Yep. So, you're gently raising the nose to combat the height. Yeah. Yep. Which, in turn, is meaning the power gets less, so you yep. gain into a vicious circle. So, give it a bit more power and take us back to the height. In fact, you use full power, take us back to the height. That's it. Remember, when you go with Les to do your test, he'll be looking for a number of things. One, head in. Two, height, three, time. Yeah. yeah. He won't mind if you deviate from that. What he will expect is when you deviate, you do something positive to try and get yourself back to your height, your head in, and time, all right? Yeah. It, time's a little bit less important That's because too. you can turn around to him and give him a revision of your time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So at your halfway point, which you broadly are now. Yeah, we are now, yeah. How long have we flown for? 
past the overhead. Eight minutes. Eight minutes, so it's taken us eight minutes, so yeah. would suggest it's going to take us another eight minutes to get to the target. Yeah, I had 12 minutes down there, so... In total? No, to get there. In total to get to the target? Yeah. From Anthony Green? Yeah. So you were saying six minutes? So, yeah, so we're eight minutes, two minutes behind. Two minutes behind, so that means the wind must have changed, or the quality of the flying yeah. has changed, or something's changed, so... What you got now is make a decision, is it going to take you six, seven or eight minutes to get to the target? Yeah. Over here, what we've got over here is a long mint. That's where Church Stretton is. Yeah. Well, okay. It? Sorry? I've heard of that. Yeah. Long so this is long mint, and they do gliding off the top of the long mint down the far end where the trees are. Yeah. And then there's a dip, and later on, you'll be able, in a few minutes, you'll be able to see back up the, the valley towards Church Stretton. Off the wing tip now, virtually on the horizon, you've got um, Shrewsbury. It's beautiful here. So, I'm, I'm on track. On track? I should have a, in a couple of minutes, should have a, like a river. I should be crossing the river. Alright, well, probably worth me pointing out to you, these rivers aren't the River Seven. Like they're a lot know. smaller than the River Seven. Even oh, right. though on the map they look the same bloody size. Oh, right, yeah. They ain't. <laughs> Yep. Your chances of seeing the rivers down here are very, very small. And what with the current weather, you've got even less chance. OK. Trying to get this bloody plane sorted out. It's different to the 152. That's because you've done the majority of your flying on the 152. Yeah. Take your hands off. I'm not, I'm not far off now. Pretty well sorted. Losing right here. The church threatens over there, you can just sort of see it some part of the hill. Yeah. Just in front of the wing tip as, as you look at it. And down here you've got the Craven Arms to um, uh, Much Wenlock Road. Just down here. Whoa. Come on. Now, do you know where you are? Built up area over here, any ideas what it might be? On my left, uh, that's Ludlow. Yep. That got, is Ludlow. We've got Ludlow there. So we're not far off now. Fly head in. Have a look out. The Craven Arms is down there, I think. Right in front of us. Okay. What do you know about Craven Arms? Nothing. What can you village. What can you derive from the map about Craven Arms then? What can you see on the map which would uh, help you out? I've got the, the actual Craven Arms. Yeah. You know, the, the okay. Well, what you've got to do is if you are unsure that's Craven Arms, how are you going to figure out whether it is or it isn't? You've got to right. find a way using the features to figure it out. Not that I'm trying to catch you out, I'm trying to get you to think about it. So if you take the family flying and they say take us to place X, how do you know you're at X? Yeah. There are a number of ways. Number one, have you flown a constant heading? Yeah, I'm not yeah. far off. Not far off? Yeah. yeah. How about your time? Is your time roughly where it should be? If your time so is roughly where 12 minutes, it's banged on. So if you've flown a constant heading and you've flown in the, the amount of time, if the wind is correct, you should be where you expect to be. I'm banged on with my time, I think. So that's the flying part of it. Yeah. Well, if you look down, look here. Craven Arms has got a main road and a rail line running parallel to each other running next to each other, hasn't it? And it's got a river as well. Yeah. Putting the river aside, because unlikely we'll see it. Look down. I've got the main road and the river down Have there. you got a main road and the river? Have you got... I can actually see the river. Yeah, I can see the river. Can you see the main road? Yeah. Can you see the rail line? Uh, yes, I can, yeah. And they're both running in parallel, aren't they? They're running together. Yeah. North-south north, as well. Yeah. 
then there is a spur coming off, a spur coming off, which is heading initially west, then it bears southwest. Yeah? yeah. The rail spur. Yeah. And the road sort of mirrors it as well as it heads down towards Knighton, which is over there. Knighton. So all those sort of things give us reassurance that that is Craven Arm. So do a left turn and have a look. Yeah. Take a turn to the left. So look, there's the railway, there's a spur coming off it, can you see it? Yeah. There's a spur coming off it, there's the main road, there's the road coming out to the west as well. And if you look back the opposite way, there's a road going out to the east. Well, that's exactly what we've got, isn't it? Yeah. Do you agree? So two parts to it. One is, have you flown accurately? And two, what ground features have we got? Okay, yeah. Look further up there, you can actually see, see um, Church Retton now in the valley. In the valleys there, get some birds as well. Yeah. So, what's your reciprocal heading? My reciprocal heading is uh, 084. 084, lovely. So, I've got the grouse error track will be obviously the key on. Yeah, take your time. Uh, my time is, tw well, say half past. It's one minute, yeah. So half past one. So 1329. 1329. Yeah. Okay. Be accurate. All okay, right. yeah. So now what I want you to do is just let the aircraft settle. Do another freeder check. So yeah. fuel is on. Fuel is on. Now look. The left's got more in it. Yeah. So fuel pump on. Must put the fuel pump on in this aircraft okay. before you change tanks. And gently roll it back so it's pointing vertical. Yeah, it's pointing vertical. Brilliant. Leave it for a few moments. Fly the aeroplane. Fuel pump off. Fuel pump off. So that's one difference, major difference. Yeah. Now radio sets the correct frequency. Yeah. Radio track green. So yeah. one two three zero zero for you. Engine T's and P's. Engine T's and P's in the green in the green. Just bring the carburetor heat on and off. Doing that. Carburetor heat on. Carburetor heat off. I need to climb in a bit. Um, Okay, so yeah. you're descending a little bit. We yeah. might be in a bit of down, gently moving down air. That's it, raise the nose, climb. No, we didn't do D. Direction. Direction. So, so first of all, just set the aircraft down. Fly it straight and level as best as you can. Yep. Then look. So look, I'm on six. So six. Oh. Just let it settle. Because this swings, right? Yeah. Yep. I'm on six, but my heading is eight. So. Okay, so now come round or just your heading. The question is, is when you just your heading, are you seeing the picture you need to see? So going back, I need to be going over that hill. Okay, really. so what I'd advise you do is turn and put yourself in the position you need to be. Yeah. Because what's probably happening here is the wind might be pushing us that way. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this might sound odd, but I'm going to say it anyway, so we said it. That feature's not going to move. No. Yeah. But if we've got to go over the top of that feature, we need to go over the top of that feature. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So what's probably happening is the, the air is moving that way, making us go that way. Yeah, so but I had, allowed, I had allowed for that in me, but it's obviously changed. It, it could have changed, couldn't it? Yeah. yeah. When you did your turn, you did a left turn, so we ended up slightly, a little bit further south, looking down on um, Craven Arm. So we're already, I don't know, 500 metres to, oh, the, to yeah. the south, just slightly off. Now, what I would have done back there is instead of doing what you're doing, which is a little dog leg, yeah. I'd have flown directly to Direct it to. and gone, right, I'm going to resume my course from that known point. Okay. Yep. yep. Once again, just much more expeditious experience. Don't worry about it. This is why we do these very basic sort of navigation exercises to get you used to the light of the land. 
As we look back, we can see Morgan Hills off on my side over here. In the distance, we can see the two clear hills which we're coming up to. Then we've got some slightly lower hills, so slightly lower hills are called the Abberley Hills, which are halfway down the M449 towards Worcester. There's a group of trees just sitting just below the horizon, that's the Wire Forest, just on the outskirts of Beaudley, Kidderminster. We've got the Wentlock Edge here, which runs all the way down to Craven Arms, and then all the way up to Ironbridge. Ironbridge is up over here. And we've got, um, sorry, <laughs> we've got the reeking up over here. Yeah, we've got the reeking. The reeking you see where well. we're going, yeah. Julian? Yeah. You see where we're going? <laughs> and we've got the reeking over in that direction. And as you can see, I like to pull them off as much as I possibly can. So coming back, we've got the reeking on my left, yeah, that's there. As they become more experienced at doing things, and Judy will probably tell you this, is in the circuit I start talking to him more, trying to slowly see if I can distract him. And as we, as he becomes more proficient with navigation, I'll do the same. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're climbing a bit there, but is that because the, the wind coming off the hill, do you reckon? It could be. It could be. If the wind's coming this way, it's going up the hill, forcing the air upwards, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's not far off there. Well, he's just trying to find us at the moment. So, we're over the Cleels now. So, we're 13. Here's DME. Yeah. This is what we've had put in while it's been out. DME. Okay. 108 decimal six, just like just like um, um, the 152. Yeah. Amy Green's frequency. We're 13 miles from Amy Green. All right. Come on, lock on, find us. We are up here. That's so, the airfield's over there somewhere. The question is where? Yeah, so we're 12 mile away. Now, what features should you be flying over? Do you, do you, do you know? What's so, I've got the... What's next? The reservoir, the uh, Chalmarsh Reservoir, which is over there. So I should be to the left of that. Well, fly to the left to it. Yeah. Because yeah. that's not going to change, is it? No. Yeah. Because you some think you may have made a mistake on your plan. Yeah? Yeah. It is very possible. So what you've got to do now is fly features as well. So we're at Chalmarsh Reservoir. Bridge North is there. Are they in the correct place, in the correct sense, distance from us? So Chalmarsh, oh, I'm pretty much on track. That's Bridge North, that's Chalmarsh Reservoir. There you go. 3,000 feet. Yeah, we're over the Cleals now. <laughs> Do you see the airfield? Uh, not yet. No. Should can be straight in front of me. Right. But can you see Pensnet Trading Estate? Yeah, I can in the right. distance. Yeah. Do not aim towards Pensnet Trading Estate because if you do, you'll go south of the airfield. Hang up. Fly the features which you've got. You've got Bridge North, Shell Marsh. Yeah. And you said to me, if you fly between the two. Try not to adjust the power. All right, too much. Yeah. Remember, constant power equals constant performance. Yeah. Power and attitude equal performance too. I think I've got the airfield. No, I haven't yet. No, not yet. Chell Marsh as well there. Bridge North there. Oh, I've got the airfield now, I think. Yeah, I have, yeah. 
Roger, it's put down window. Put down window, Lovely. I have got the airfield now, yeah. So, now, just fly to the overhead of the airfield. Yeah. In a minute, I'm going to ask you to do an inbound call. Yep. Yep. So, something along the lines of Hate Good Information, Golf Whiskey, Alpha Romeo Bravo, two south of Bridge North, 3,000 feet inbound. Yep. All right. So let's just wait until we get just by Bridge North. Take your hands off. Go to the Sierra, final touch again. Go to the Sierra, runway 16110 one degrees, 8 knots, touch again, you're discretion. Go to the Sierra. Service are bumpy up here today. Nah, this is nothing, it was like a terrible Wednesday. Yeah, I've got the airfield, definitely. Excellent. Uh, Do you want to give them a call? It's north, so it's... Uh, Hapley Green Information, yeah. I've got uh, Whiskey Alpha Romeo Bravo. About two south, two south of the north. north. Three thousand, well, two thousand eight hundred. Yeah, inbound. Hapley Green Information. Golf Whiskey Alpha Romeo Bravo. Inbound. Bridge North. Two south of Bridge North. Two thousand eight hundred feet. Go for Romeo Bravo. Go for Romeo Bravo, runway 16 left down the QFE, 996 sector Pascal. Uh, there's uh, two others joining, so keep your eyes peeled. Runway 16, QFE, 999 Pascal. Go for Romeo Bravo. 996. Go for Romeo Bravo, don't worry. Go for Romeo Bravo, don't worry. Final. Right, right, I'll change that we'll now. Okay, you go can see it, right, change right, it. Right, change right, it. Right, Sorry, 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 you're not too clear. Golf Sierra X-ray, dead side. 996. Golf Sierra X-ray, report down. Airfield's there. Uh, we've lost some height there, so... D don't worry. Yeah, leave it. That height that we've lost is due to the resetting of the altitude. Yeah, no, I lost yeah. it, yeah. So, you've, you've got to accept that. There's nothing you can do about it now. All right. Well, what I want you to think about is the runway we're on. We're on runway 16. On my 1-6, which is that way. Yeah, and we need to find and descend on the dead side. We're, which we're on the dead side. Oh, Brilliant, oh, well done. Uh, so, so, if I go... Go on, Togo straight over the end, where we take off, over the numbers, and then descend. Which is a dead side, which is a live side. Where's the circuit? Uh, Live side, that side, this is the dead side, so we need to descend this side and go over the numbers at 1,000. Ah, that's better, yeah. Yeah, you got it. So when I'm in within two miles, that's when brilliant, I start descending. Brilliant, brilliant, yep. Right, OK. So you can see the two-mile diameter here. So when you hit that, you can commence the descent. Yeah. Yep. You're technically dead side, yeah. Do you know what? When when he's on the ground, it's easy to think it. But now you're doing this. We were never built to multitask. You come and have a go. You'll fly better than us. <laughs> so as soon as I'm in the two miles, as I say, overhead descending dead side. Yeah, absolutely. Try not to gain any more height, but at the same yeah. time. If anything, I'd be inclined just to gen right, let the aircraft down gently down. descend, all yeah. right? Yeah. Report final. Report final, go for That's it. Just try and keep the wings level. Fly yeah. a nice, ac accurate heading, all right? Remember, passengers' comfort is yeah. of importance to us. Go up and walk on, downwind to London, if you are one ahead and one behind. So lower the nose, let the nose go down. Alpha rip. So throttle back a bit, we can afford to descend now. Carbo Teton. Carbo Teton. Just don't call it, all right? Because yeah. we're not within the circuit yet. Not within the pattern. Bloody hell. Bump it. Yeah, that's a heat building. Okay, we're now 1.9D. Tell him yeah. dead side descending. Golf, Romeo Bravo, descending dead side. 
So now, pull the power back. Fuel pump on. Lower the nose. Got to the Sierra downwind, uh, touch and go. Got to the Sierra report. Lower the nose. Two report to the head. Lower the nose. Two ahead report follow. Lower the nose. There's the 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 traffic in front of us. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Keeps going down. Lower the nose. In front of us. He's a little Doctor late, X-ray. you can probably see it, just, yeah, keep us going down. Doctor X-ray, runway 16, so 0905 knots, and your discretion. Right there, Doctor X-ray. So Sierra X-ray's there. Yeah. Sky Ranger's here. I can see the Sky Ranger, yeah. I think he's a Sky Ranger. Fucking awful thing. Sorry, my language. It means you can't put that video up there, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, There's nothing coming in from the right. Yeah, so carburetor heat going back in. I don't think we really need that today. I don't think we're going to be bothered about carburetor icing. Go around 1.5, Gently raise the nose, add the power back in to 2300. Flight straight and level. Flight straight and level, just like the 152. Okay, yeah. Just a little bit further out. But further out. All right. The Sky Ranger is so slow. Green information. Okay. Hello, Good, Good luck round, left turn. Go from here, Yankee, just stand by, I'll get right back to you. Break, cap, break, go for Bravo Alpha. From my 1 6, Find zero, your zero, six knots. Land your discretion. Land into 1 6, close the ball. There's a Sky Ranger. That's. Yeah. Go from here, Victor Romeo, Yankee, Romeo, That's one it. six. Out towards Cosford for me. A little bit yeah. to the left, Cosford. Romeo, one six left hand uh, request. QFE right. again, go from Yankee. I'll get me calling in a minute. QFE, nine and nine and six, Hector Pascal. QFE, nine and nine and six, Hector Pascal, go from Yankee. Go from Romeo, bravo. Down wind to land. Good. Go from here, brother. Report final. One report to the head. Visible one ahead. Go from here, brother. Brill. Uh, so brakes off. Undercarriage is down. Yeah. Fuel uh, on. On my left. Yeah. I'm, I'm still on the right. Fuel one. pumps on as well. Fuel pump on. Yeah. That's on. Um, instruments. So th- three, three. That's about right. Uh, car beat. <laughs> I don't think we need that today, but who knows? Hatches and harnesses. Full skewer, got your seatbelt on. Yeah. Top to the Sierra, final touch again. Right. I've got my turning points here. Top to the Sierra, runway 160505 now. Just stay your discretion. Juliet Sierra's just gone underneath the wing. Roger. Right, left turn. All right, so exactly the same profile. When you go wings level, aim between the two hills. Yeah. yeah. Wings level. Car beat on. Car beat on. Power 1500. Sport the nose. Two flap. Just bung it in. You've got a much bigger flap limiting arc. Further down. That's it. Now you're looking for 75 knots. Right, trim for 75. Yep. Now you have idled the engine, but I'm not too worried about that because we've got some extra height at the moment, yep. Good look round, gentle left turn on to final approach. Don't worry about the power. Right. We've got plenty of height, you see. Yeah. Let's get some height off. Calling finals, contact one head. Go for me, Bravo. Final. Contact with one ahead. Roger, Romeo just five, cut to go, traffic. Continuing. Continuing. Go for Romeo, Bravo. Right. Uh, so we're still high, yep. Yeah. yeah, we're still high. So just leave the power where it is, but just bring your hand to the throttle. All right. Get ready for power if you need it. Yeah. Because you will need it, because we'll hit sink where. See the farmer in the field in front of us? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You can see the aircraft beginning to go down yeah. now. That's it, just gently. 
to keep the vertical Still distance. Romeo Bravo, runway one six one zero zero degrees, three knots. Love your discretion. Self Romeo Bravo. That's it. Now. When we get over the runway, treat it just like the 152 flight, straight and level, don't try and land it, get yeah. it low and slow, and the aircraft will sink to the runway. Lower the nose just a fraction, they can make it come down. Looking good, lower the nose a little bit. You're keeping it vertically constant, yeah? Yeah. That's looking good, just keep it coming down, keep it coming down. Keep it coming down. Lower the nose, a little bit of a power. A little bit of power, she wants to sink. That's it, that's it. No, no, power off now. Power off. Power off. Hold it off. Hold it off. Just hold right, it off. Hold, hold, hold it there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Beautiful. Well done. No, hold it there. Hold from it there. Two no uh, west to Jesus. Yeah. Roger, just don't break. Don't, don't actively break. Okay. Let the aircraft Roger, roll. What you got here, the wing is a lot lower to the ground, so and that's a massive difference to the 152. There. Absolutely, that's big. That is. Yeah. I didn't expect that. And all of a sudden it'll go bang. Yeah, it did. It dropped. That's where you got to give a bit more power. Yeah. Yeah. It did. It dropped out the sky. Bob, I think you're better off flying the 152 and then converting on the. On yeah, de this. Defi definitely. Yep. What do you think in the back? Yeah, it's good. Good. Enjoyed it. Ooh. Hot and sweaty. Yeah, it's going to take some getting used to uh, eventually. When it yeah, but you will do. Just bring it to a halt. Bring it to a halt. Reset 1200 on the RPM gauge. The lights should go out, which they do. That's good. So, clean it up. Flaps first. Open the green information Golf Alpha Romeo, Oscar Alpha in the corner. Packed it to your bike lane. Laps up. Alpha, that's it. 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 Alpha, Okay, that's it. I can't believe how much that dropped. I'm coming out of the runway. Caught me out. Yeah. That's not so much the aeroplane, that's the um, field at the end. Okay. Can I open that? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Hang on, I've got the door open. <laughs> That's nice. If you weren't here, there would be another word I'd use. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies present. Oh. So, yeah. Do you know? Have you noticed how much more responsive the rudder pedals are? Yeah. Yeah. Taxi us towards the gates. Take your feet off the brakes, late roll. We've got a 32 foot wingspan. Four feet longer. So come round. That's it. And just keep going, just keep coming. Just keep coming. Just keep coming. Aim over there. Aim over there. A little bit of power, a little bit of power. Keep going, keep turning. Keep turning. Now I'll neutralise. Much easier to park than the 152. Yep. That is one benefit of the, the way the rudder design is. Shut down. Parking brake on. So pull that. Pull and press. Pull, press, take your hand off. Uh, RPM set to 12. 
Magneto's check the dead cut. Get to the left, Mag. That's the left. That sounds clear now. That's the right. Ready.